Welcome back to this Rags to Riches playthrough of GTA Online. This is day three of the series and we have done so much in the last two days, but day three gets even more crazy. I end up grinding more than I probably have in like five years of playing this game. And honestly, if you missed the first two days, I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and check it out as it will get you caught up to where I am now and give you guys an idea of why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'll leave a link in the description box below and of course a card in the top right hand corner with that being said i did grind a whole whack ton and got a whole bunch of feedback from the last video a lot of people in the comment section encouraging me to use the bonuses that rockstar has given out for two times money and i was really hesitant to do so but i went ahead and did take advantage of that in this video and i wanted to make as much money as i could with the investment but before we get into day three please consider dropping a like on this video and of course subscribing if you guys would like to see more GTA 5 online content like this. Yes, so starting sir. off, I felt a little bit lost. I didn't know exactly what I was going to do right away. So I went ahead and did what I always do on my normal character and I stocked up my passive businesses. So I went ahead on over to my acid lab and I supplied my acid lab with supplies and it cost me $60,000 to do so. After this, I did the weekly HSW time trial. Huge fan of the HSW time trials and you guys can make a lot of money doing this. You can only complete it once so I went ahead and used my Hayakucho Drag HSW vehicle that we earned throughout the last two days to complete this time trial. I think it only took me one or two attempts and I earned myself $250,000. That's a nice little boost to start us up for the day. So after I complete the time trial I head on over to my Kasatka and unfortunately it's completely glitched so I end up pretty much having to restart my game twice because this glitch just would not let me get into my Kasatka. So what I did is I set my spawn point to the submarine and then respawn inside the submarine and started up a prep. So I don't want to go into the details of every single thing I did because there are hours of gameplay here. So for me to go through step by step would take a very, very long time. So real quick, I went ahead and started the prep. I got the submarine as my vehicle. I used the fast travel feature of the submarine to get what? to the submarine, drove my submarine right beside the other submarine, then hopped in the other submarine and grabbed the jammer and brought it back to my submarine. Now I know that's a lot. That's what I had to do for the first prep. The second prep was the safe codes. Very simply headed on over to the casino, took out the guy they asked you to take out, grabbed the safe codes off of him, left the casino and then committed suicide so I didn't have to lose the cops. So once that mission was completed, I took a second to go ahead and head on over to my acid lab as the supplies had been delivered and I went ahead and boosted the acid lab so I could get that little initial boost so the acid lab would accrue a lot faster. If you guys want more more information about how the acid lab works i'll leave a link in the description box below along with a card to the video that explains this really well after i boosted my acid lab i went back to my kasaka started up the fingerprint cloner prep and i went to the warehouse took out the guards very easily hacked the computer and then i grabbed the cloner and brought it back to the kasaka which led me into my next prep mission the cutting oh, torch shit. a very classic prep boost. mission go ahead put on that nice yellow hard hat in the area steal the cutting torch and bring it back to the Kaseka. Very simple. And these missions are very straightforward. Bruh. Then I went ahead and did the weapons prep. I ended up picking the conspirator, which is my go-to loadout for the KO Perico heist. And that's what we obviously are prepping up for. I did just buy the Kasaka in the last video. So in this video, I wanted to take advantage of it as much as possible. So went ahead and grabbed the weapons by taking out the guards in the building, hacked the laptop and grabbed the weapons. You'll either get like 707 Vespucci or something something like that. After I grabbed the weapons, I was a free man. I simply could go ahead and complete the KO Preco heist. Now, I initially ended up getting the gate key, which was really nice. And then I grabbed the main loot from the bottom, ended up getting the Majazo files. And then I died a ton trying to fill my bag. So I went, tried to go to the North Docks or to the hangar to go ahead and fill my bag and ended up dying a lot. I could have avoided this by using a different entry vehicle, but in my opinion, it wasn't worth it. So after dying, a whole lot of times I ended up dipping out with an empty bag and it was worth it for me not to go ahead and try to fill that bag it was becoming way too frustrating I ended up swimming off the edge and earning myself 1.1 million dollars so not bad at all that's a really nice earning of 1 million one hundred and seventy one thousand dollars in the bank so really nice start to the day we're already at almost 1.5 million dollars earned in the day and we're about an hour or two into the day so not bad at all so I have a lot of money in my 
hand at this point and if there's one thing I don't like doing is having my money not working for me and right now this money in my hand is doing nothing for me so I go ahead and take the advice of the commenters and I invest it into buying an agency so I go ahead and spend one million two hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars to buy the Vespucci Canals agency and the reason why I bought this agency is because it's close to all my other businesses and it was relatively cheap compared to the other ones so it was on sale this week so I did take advantage of the sale of the agency and I really really liked the location so this is where the grind really starts to begin for me so this week had two times money on agency missions so the VIP contract and the security contracts and payphone hits all were two times money so you guys could make a whack ton of money this week so I need to take advantage of whatever I have available to me and that's what I have available to me this week I'd also recommend you guys do the same if there's anything like that's two times money and you're starting out as a beginner take advantage of whatever business is two times money it will kind of direct what you buy first if I had known that agencies were going to be two times money the next day I would have never bought the Kasaka I would have went with the agency first but the Kasaka was a really good purchase and you'll see how that plays out later on whether it's two times money on the nightclub the bunker the auto shop the agency take advantage of the bonus we have to capitalize on the multi-million dollar investments we make in these businesses and when it's two times money it's very easy to do so so that's exactly what I do I head on over to the agency and end up getting put into so many cutscenes is actually ridiculous and none of them are skippable there's actually the worst thing ever about the agency I understand why but the cutscenes take up a lot of your time when you are trying to grind so after the first cutscene I go ahead and complete a security contract earning me $82,000 really smooth mission really easy to do for a beginner so went ahead completed the security contract then I had to go meet Franklin at the golf course to get the agency kind of set up and then you meet Dre and complete that mission which is kind of nice and you earn yourself $21,000 for completing that mission plus a bonus $50,000 for completing it for the first time after this I head on over to my crate warehouse which I should have done a little bit earlier and got Lupe to source me a crate so I sent her off for the next 48 minutes to go get me a crate and then I got back to the agency only to be put in another lengthy cutscene honestly the cutscenes are actually ridiculous but it is what it is so after this lengthy cutscene I complete a security contract again earning me a hundred and two thousand dollars you'll notice that I use the free helicopter from the agency a lot you can get this free helicopter by going to the elevator in your agency and saying exit via vehicle or you guys can go ahead and talk to the male assistant at the agency desk where he'll allow you to exit via vehicle as well you can select that free helicopter so after completing that security contract I head on over to Mutt and get him to get some supplies for me this cost me another sixty thousand dollars but this is really nice because now I have Mutt in the background sourcing me supplies making sure that the acid lab that we worked so hard to get is earning us money after supplying the acid lab I head on over to the agency and complete the data recovery setup all you have to do is infiltrate the FIB building hack the computer then steal the drive die a crap ton and then bring it back yeah. to the agency I died so many times trying to get the drive back to the agency it's actually ridiculous and unacceptable my lack of skill is clearly showing here guys I am definitely out of practice after getting completely wiped by the police and the FIB I head on over to my freak shop where I go to upgrade my weapons because I'm blaming the weapons at this point not my skill but clearly after watching the footage it's definitely my terrible aim and movement but I did go ahead to the freak shop I upgraded my machine gun to the mark 2 variant so I have a combat MG mark 2 with all the attachments including the extended clip the muzzle the grip the scope and a little bit of a color very nice weapon one of my favorite weapons in the game to this date I highly recommend if you have the extra cash to go ahead and do so and in my situation I did even though it left my bank account a little bit dry at the end I also upgraded my heavy sniper to the mark II variant and bought myself an extended mag for that because this weapon is a staple in my opinion so definitely invested in that so it's a little bit more powerful after struggling with the data recovery setup I ended up realizing I had a cooldown before I could complete the next mission so I went ahead and gathered 
gathered intel for the KO Rico. Now, when I went to do the gather intel mission, you simply go ahead on the heli airplane, just like before, fly over to KO Rico, and then we're going to go and scout the area just like last time. And here we find the tequila. So the tequila is our main prize. And also I found a painting in the office because I didn't want to go ahead and try to fill my bag anywhere else. I just wanted to go grab the main thing and anything extra that I can grab along the way. So that was really nice. I gathered intel for the KO Preco heist. And then I continued on with the agency. So we boot on over to the agency, start up the nightlife leak mission and complete the first little mission for that. Then I go ahead and do the KO Preco prep. This gets crazy hectic and all over the place because I'm bouncing in between the KO Preco, the agency and everything in between each other because there's cooldowns and things like that and I need to fill the time so I'm effective so I went ahead and got the Kasatka vehicle prep completed and then I went ahead and finished off the nightlife leak which gained me $12,000 plus 100k for completing the nightlife leak investigation for the first time then I realized it's time finally to capitalize on our acid lab and it was time to sell the acid lab and with the acid lab you almost always want to sell in a public lobby because the profits on the acid lab isn't that great unless you get that high demand bonus and you guys already know i'm trying to make the most amount of money possible so i go ahead and go to my acid lab find a public lobby that seems safe and i found one that seemed relatively safe and i end up getting griefed <laughs> so this guy decided that it was a good idea to come blow me up like three or four deliveries into my mission and unfortunately he tries to blow up my motorcycle fortunately though i die my motorcycle doesn't and i quit out and find a new session and i didn't lose any of my stock so i really got blessed there really happy about that so i ended up going and finding a new public session selling in that session and earning myself five hundred and two thousand dollars really grateful that i did not lose my acid lab product after selling the acid lab and earning that five hundred and two thousand dollars i went ahead and headed on over to the agency and started the high society preps i simply had to grab the lawyer and then eventually got another mission where i had to grab the phone again earning myself that twelve thousand dollars plus the hundred thousand dollars for completing it for the first time and this would leave us with this self central leak so after starting up the self central leak i ended up taking a break to level up my shooting in between the missions this was really ineffective but it did fill the time so I'm not too upset about that. I did actually end up leveling up my shooting to police training level. So that was kind of nice. And I ended up finishing the South Central missions all together, earning myself that $12,000 and that $100,000 bonus for beating it the first time. We've earned a lot of money from completing these missions, just under $400,000 for completing all of these missions. So that's not bad at all. And then we get kind of like the final two missions for the agency and it's the studio mission. So you have to head on over to the studio take out a whole bunch of people because they're trying to get your boy Dre and you end up earning like six thousand dollars I did and then a hundred thousand dollar bonus for beating that one as well and that will lead us to the final mission for the agency I had to do a whole bunch of stuff take out a whole bunch of targets then finally Dre meets up with you at the airport and you drive him back to his helicopter and you earn yourself a two million dollars instead of the one million dollars earn myself two million dollars for completing this it's absolutely ridiculous to pay out for this once i realized i could earn two million dollars doing this i was really set to grind for the rest of the night now to be completely honest with you i am so grateful i did continue grinding because the cooldowns and the wait times in between the missions are removed after you beat the agency missions finale after you beat it the first time there are no cooldowns in between the missions and I was so grateful once I realized this but I didn't realize this right away instead I went ahead and headed on over to my Kasaka to finish off the KO we scouted earlier on with the tequila and the painting so it was time to go ahead and complete all that I went ahead and did all the preps for that really quick and it was hard it's really hard to do these when you don't have a mark to a presser or a sparrow I definitely should have invested maybe into a helicopter a little bit earlier Later on but that's completely fine I don't I actually just keep grinding like this and end up beating the KO mission earning me one million dollars just over one million dollars so another million dollars in the bank account deposited by completing that tequila heist not bad at all from the KO Perico heist could have gone a lot smoother and I could have 
earned a little bit more money. I know this is kind of like a quick run by because this video would be very long if I told you guys every single thing I did, but this is definitely a very good overview. And then after completing that, I went ahead and supplied my acid lab again because it ran out of supplies and it was time to resupply. So I go ahead, get that resupplied and then the agency grind. So I go ahead and start the agency mission one more time, start it up, do a few preps. Now, before I go and do the billionaire mission where I have to shoot down the helicopter, I go ahead and find the gun van. The gun van moves every day apparently. So you guys have to find the gun van. And then I went to the gun van and bought myself the rail gun. Now the rail gun's really useful for taking out the billionaire's helicopter. You can simply shoot the helicopter three times with the rail gun. It costs a lot of money, but it makes things simpler. So it makes the grind a lot smoother. So I went ahead, bought the rail gun, blasted the helicopter out the sky in three shots, just like I intended to. And then I finished the agency contract at the end of the night, earning myself another $2 million. At this point, we have over $6 million. We have a CEO office. We have a crate warehouse. We have a Kasaka. So for the KF Ricos, we have the agency. We have an acid lab fully upgraded. We are doing really well. We're sitting around like five businesses or so and have $6 million. We have a nice HSW vehicle. Honestly, we are well on our way to being rich in GTA 5 Online. And we're only level 35, just under level 35. So that's huge. It's crazy what you guys can get done in a short period of time. I'm really excited to see what happens in the next day with the next week where I go ahead and grind GTA 5 Online. So far, I'm very happy with our rakes to riches grind. That concludes day three. I am looking forward to getting day four out for you guys so you can see how I make millions and millions of dollars in the next video so you guys can go from rakes to riches with me. If you like the video, again, please don't forget to drop a like on the video. Comment anything. It helps the video. And of course, share it with your friends if you are trying to go from rakes to riches. They might learn a thing. You might have learned a thing and that will help everyone get better at GTA 5 Online money grinding. I'm really enjoying making these videos and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.